not your best game I've thought in a while. Um, how do you think you played the other night? How's, what, what's the update on your ankle? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, it's getting better day by day. And uh, I mean, that game was just, you know, I just made shots that game. Same shot I took every other game, but I just made them. Uh, yeah, but as a team, I thought we did good that game. If you were putting a percent on your health, I mean, what would you say you are, the, the ankle? I'm 100%. 100%? Yeah. Really, or do you say that? I'm 100%. For both players, just what do you feel you all have to do differently at A&M that you didn't do the first time around? I think just uh, just keep our defense intensity and up uh, and just play defense throughout the whole game. Stop playing 20 minutes, just play 40 minutes. Uh, I just feel like we got to step our defense up and rebound better. We feel like they uh, was attacking us and really rebounding the basketball, so we just got to rebound and play better defense. Uh, Hog, the big forward, kept stepping out and hitting threes. What do you all do differently on him? Uh, try to crowd him, you know, try to run him off the three-point line and just play better defense. Um, you know, the last three games, I think you held that South Carolina at 41% shooting, uh, Bandy to 25, Ole Miss at 29. Um, I know that, that they're, they're not Auburn, or, you know, they're not leading the league and stuff, but what, what, what do you think about that uh, field goal percentage of defense and what do you think has been, been the key to that? And, and can you keep, keep it going? I think just staying engaged throughout the game and just holding each other accountable and just taking it as a pride thing. Just If we keep our defense, so I think we're one of the best teams in the country. So if we just keep our defense, so we'll be all right. Yeah, we say, you know, just start just being engaged the whole game and just knowing personnel and what we need to get done throughout the game. Uh, we, I just felt like we just locked in on defense. You know, we came in with the mindset to play defense from the jump and not just when we're, whenever we get down. You want it? Yeah, For both of you guys, you guys played A&M just two and a half weeks ago. How much do you take from that game compared to their most recent games? Oh, their games? Their most recent games? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, they've been playing good uh, since they played us, I guess, or before us. They've been playing well. We just got to – no personnel, just play defense, play hard, and rebound. Because we know that they're probably one of the biggest teams in our country, I mean, our league. So I think we just rebound and play defense, we're going to be OK. Is this the best you guys have seen Darius play? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was probably the best we've seen him play. And that, that was a good game for him, for his confidence. Mike Anderson talked afterwards about young energy, you know, you know Darius. Uh, uh, Gabe took a shot, you know, and hit it, <laughs> and uh, um, and obviously Daniel gave you guys good. You know, as as older guys who've been played a lot of minutes, how much does that help you all when young guys are are, are helping the team out like that they did? I think that's good for us as a team, and it's good uh, for them as well because uh, we need, we need them on the road and, and home games as well. But I mean, we play a lot of minutes, and when they come in, and give us a absolute energy like they did that game. It was just good for us. And we know we can trust them, and they can trust us. You, you want to take that too, Anton? Oh uh, yeah, what he said. You know that, that that's good when they can come in and bring that energy and uh, and keep it going for us, for us to rest. So it's real good. And when you guys had that eighteen to one streak, you know, Darius hit a couple threes. He had uh, a couple assists. Just what did you think of what he did in that in that key stretch? Oh uh, I man, we he show you what he can do. You know, he brings a lot of energy to our team, and a lot of uh, he he pumps us up every time he's out there. So uh, that's that's just what he does. I guess Tyler Davis had like a double double, and Williams had a bunch of boards. Just as guards, what can you all do to kind of help out the the bigs against those guys? Uh, get in there and help rebound. You know, try to help put bodies on uh, on those people. You know, they jump, they can jump out the gym, and they're real physical. So, got to make sure we got we all in the paint trying to help. Uh, just, what he said, just help rebound it, because when we rebound it, we kind of successful. So. If we rebound and at least get the, our hands on the ball and tip it out, where we can get it, I mean, it'd, be, it'd help the bigs out because they, they are physical and they are very athletic. You look at the stretch when you guys have played well the last three games, those are teams that are in the bottom of the conference. Now you're playing the Auburn, the conference leader, and A&M is in Kentucky. You're just a game behind. You're playing two games, just a game ahead. Just What, what do you think about this this closing stretch? Because it looks like it's, it's a pretty challenging schedule the rest of the way. I think we're ready and we're looking forward to it. I mean, we're excited about the next few games and 
I mean, they got to come to Bud Wall, so we really excited there too. So I think there'll be some great games and just show us where we at before we go into a conference. You, you want to take it to Anton? Uh, I feel like it's a good stretch for us, you know, uh, show us what we, what we really are and who we are. Uh, but if we come out with the mindset of defense first, I feel like we can compete with anybody. So. What do you think of Darius' stretch there in that 18-1 to run when he hit those shots and got the assists and rebounds? And I mean, it was like... good for us. He do a lot of things for us. Um, to be, He's ver versatile, very athletic, high energy, so that's what we need on our team. And he, he does that very well for us. Anton, as a kid who grew up in Arkansas, you've only got three games left inside Bud Walton Arena. Are these three games now a little bit more special for you? Uh, yeah, but at the same time, I'm just trying to get better with my team, you know. Uh, but the feeling is there. I know I got three more games left in Bud Walton, so this, this is going to be a long, a, a good stretch for us. Anything else? Uh, Daniel had kind of a tough game at A&M, and of course they got those older big guys, but he just seems like he's really playing his, maybe his best these last few games. What do you think about Daniel's game down there, and how do you think he'll improve maybe, uh, you know, Saturday against all those A&M I mean, I think he'll, he, he didn't just do so bad. It was just the physicality part. I mean, he know what he got to do now. He know um, what he got to do to get the ball or rebound, whatever that they do down there. Because they was banging in Texas and them. So I think he uh, know what to do now. And just I think he's ready for the, the match, the matchup. You want to take that feel about Daniel's game there now? What he might be able to do? I feel like he got a better understanding. So he should be ready this time.